So we're here with Open Power. So who are you? I'm uh, Norm James. I'm a, a system architect for IBM, and also uh, go out all over the world and uh, educate educate uh, users and partners on power architecture and how to build systems out of power and how the firmware works and. So I, IBM uh, is right here in the chip SOC area, and there's power core and very silicon. So this is about power PC architecture. Uh, the, the server class of power architecture. Yes. So. So what is that? The server class of power. Yeah. So IBM's been selling power architecture servers for many, many years to high-end enterprise type applications, banks, uh, financial. Um, you know, multiple sockets, 16 sockets, big, big systems, big iron systems. And uh, now we're looking to, in order to get into the scale out space, it was decided uh, to, that you had to open up the architecture and make it available for others to build systems out of because the consumption model of systems is different now. Um, people, a, a, lot, a huge portion of the market don't want to buy branded systems, they want to be able to build their own systems. So, it was necessary to open up the architecture, open up specifications, and let others innovate and participate, such as NVIDIA, Mellanox, and some so of our... So when did this happen, the opening up? Uh, last year. Uh, last year, the foundation was formed. Um, founding partners were Google, NVIDIA, Mellanox, Tyann. Um, and uh, so it is, and it, since then, we've had uh, like 50 members join, 50 plus members join. So there's all these, uh, then we have board, Board system providers and there's uh, storage, software, FPGA, uh, academic system builders, end users. Yeah. All right. So, um, so how's it going to be like the future of servers? Do you think? Because uh, there's a lot of x86 stuff, right? And then ARM is coming, and then power. Where, who's doing what? What's going to happen? Well, it's a big market and it's growing. I, I think it can, uh, you know, it can be split up in many different ways. So there's, you know, different workloads are, are benefited by different architectures, different server designs, different ways to consume the, the, the server as well. So there's, it's choice. It's about choices. So, so what's the, the main advantage of the power architecture in the server space? Uh, a couple things. Uh, we have this uh, CAPI interface. It's a coherent uh, attached interface. So partners such as IO, NVIDIA, Mellanox can develop their own ASICs and coherently attach to the processor. So you, you avoid the, the IO paradigm, the IO software stack, much lower latency. Um, so that's, a, that's an innovation type bus. Um, also we, for uh, some workloads that we have a TCO advantage. Um, and it, like I said, it's a, it's a choice, it's an alternative. So when it's open, does that mean free or no? <laughs> Some things are free. Uh, the software, the, the firmware, the BIOS is totally open source free. You can go, anyone can go download that and look at the source code and, and add, add their own bells and whistles to it. Um, some of the uh, reference design type things are free. If you want to go build your own chip and things like that, uh, you, there's probably licensing fees associated with that. I don't, I'm not that familiar with those aspects. Licensing to IBM or to some other guys? To Open Power. The to Open, Open Power. Power Foundation in some cases or to IBM and others. It, it's a, Open Power is about other people making money from the power architecture. IBM's one of those, NVIDIA, Mellanox, they're all want to make money from power architecture. So um, IBM wants to as well. Freescale did a bunch of power stuff, right? That was oh, PowerPC. That was the that was, embedded. That's uh, not for servers. That's not that's not for servers. Yeah, much smaller. That's more akin to ARM, smaller threads, uh, uh, smaller cores. Yeah. So can you do a power-based server solution that's as powerful as the power, most powerful x86 stuff, or sure, absolutely. we can scale all the way up to whatever performance is required. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right. Yep. So we're gonna see more of that, I guess, in the future.